Hey guys, Casey Foster here from NetcodeGuys.com showing you my warm-up routine. Um, it's less of like an aim improvement and more of like something I do to warm up. Uh, a lot of people ask how, how I warm up or how people warm up. Um, basically your ultimate goal for warming up is to get like your strafing down, get your hands a little warm, get the blood flowing, um, and just get, you know, your aim you know, to the point where you feel like you're hitting your shots um, and to make sure that you're getting your timing down for your strafes and stuff because in, obviously with rifles you need to counter strafe and slow yourself down so that you can shoot as quickly as possible. So I go onto this map here. I'll put the link in the description below. It's called aim underscore bots and you're basically shooting bots. They have head armor. I like to shoot them with head armor um, because general situations and gun rounds they're going to have head armor so it forces you to be accurate with the m4s and it forces you to um you know shoot to kill kind of thing instead of just one tapping a lot of people come on this map and just come in here and one tap and i don't think it's very realistic uh to go into a game and try and one tap because i shoot to kill i don't shoot for headshots i want to do whatever's going to kill them the quickest and if it means headshotting them or if it means spraying them or if it means bursting them i'm going to do whatever is the fastest for that situation so anyway we're here on aimbots i have it so all of the players are consolidated into this smaller area so i don't have to spin around and stuff like a deathmatch um and basically what i do is i start out with the ak and i start off at this kind of close range see how i'm close to the wall here and i'll do basically some one taps and then i'll go more into just kind of shooting to kill kind of thing um and then after i've gone through about two or three waves of uh, the players here are killing them, you know, basically going back and forth and just killing what I call the wave. Um, I like to back it up a little bit. So here you see I'm in the middle and then I'm kind of just doing whatever I think is going to kill them the quickest in these situations. If it means bursting or if it means tapping or if it means, um, you know, hitting them in the head and then pulling down. So you saw I backed up here again, uh, just to change the distance a little bit more. Some of these gunfights are really far. Um, these would be comparable to a long a to uh probably the city spawn ramp on dust 2 kind of thing and as you can see right there i use the wall kind of just to like strafe peak um you know something like i you would do in a real game and then i backed up a little bit more um you know just to just to get my counter strafing and my my aim correction down for you know all distances um this doesn't take very long um and then i'll switch it up i like to use the m4a4s or the m4a1s um, it's, it's not as strong, I think long distance. So I'll, you generally use this a little bit closer. Um, it's a really accurate gun. So I tend to shoot more like this where I'll try and hit them in the head and I'll try and have the next shot hit their body and kill them. Um, and then I'll switch it up to this, which I think the rate of fire is a little bit quicker. Um, as you can know from any of the other gun, uh, guides, but this is my, 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 my favorite type of shooting here. Well, I'll, I'll hit them in the head and I'll pull down. And this is my favorite type of shooting for this kind of distance, um, especially with the M4A4. It's a deadly gun. It'll hit them in the head and the next bullet in the, will hit them in the chest or the neck and do like the extra 40 damage if you hit them in the head with the dink for like 80 or 90, um, depending on the distance. And you can pretty much ensure the kill. So I like to try all three different distances. I like to switch it up with the guns. Um, and I just like to get to the point where I feel like I started out this video without being warm up, warmed up at any point. Um, I probably had shot four or five guys at that point, and then I started the video. So this is about how long my warm up, my warm up routine is uh, throughout the end of this video, and it will end the demo. Um, this is actually a pre-recorded demo because my computer lags real bad when I record while shooting. So I recorded a demo, and then I'm basically talking over it. So. This is the length of my 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 warm up routine that I would do on a daily basis before I go and play a game, um, and it doesn't take too long. And the the advantage to this map is you can shoot a lot of guys very quickly, and you're not spinning around getting shot in the back like you are in a deathmatch. This is just purely warming up your aim and your counter strafing and all that stuff. So that was the end of the demo. Uh, that was how long I usually will warm up, and then I'll go and play a game. And I'll probably play in a you know in a uh, in the in the, the warm up for a few minutes or something, and let the game start. So anyway, that's just how what I do in my warm up, guys. Uh, like I said, a lot of people requested it, so I made it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys.